Hey everyone, and welcome back to Gardening in San Francisco. I'm Alex Michaels, and this is the Honey Disposition YouTube channel. It's a beautiful day here in San Francisco. We're taking a quick break from gardening for our morning walk out here on Ocean Beach. Today, we are going to be planting starters, or April starters. Let's go check it out. So I was so excited, just the same day we even got moved in, I got five tomatoes in the ground. We had one of each of the starters we talked about, but the big rainbow had two plants, so I, I split those up. So we've got two big rainbow here on the end, and here's Teddy, he's been helping me work in the garden. And then we've got some black cherry here, and then the there's the big beef right there, that's probably the biggest tomato starter we have. And then yellow pear back here. And the sand is just really nice to work with. It's a lot easier than clay soil to just kind of dig into and move around. You'll kind of notice I have some organic materials around here. I just kind of scavenged these from around the yard. This is like a decomposed lemon, I believe. Um, we got like leaves, sticks, hollowed out succulents. And what this does is it, it kind of provides support for the plant and it also holds the moisture there so it keeps everything in place so that the water doesn't just kind of wash away. It keeps the, the top level in, intact. And we'll hopefully get some compost going too, that'll really help. Next up we're going to plant these squash. We've got this row cleared here. This is just that front right corner when you come into the backyard so we'll check back in with that in a second. Okay, so we are back at the front right corner of the yard. I was looking at kind of the space and looking at the starters a little more closely and I found that the Easy Pick Gold starter actually had three little plants in it. So I decided to just do that one in this row and just give each of those plenty of space to just spread out and get nice and big. So those are kind of parallel to the tomatoes but fairly well spaced out from there. So then anyway, we'll follow this little pathway back here a little bit. We got the rose bushes and the lemon tree from before. But as we get back to this back corner, what do we have here? A freshly planted raspberry bush. And just going into the ground looking really healthy, so I'm really excited about that. Love raspberries. Nice shade in this area for that. We'll keep the lap going. And getting into this back left corner, we will find a spaghetti squash, one of my favorite vegetables. Drop a comment if you like spaghetti squash as well. But we've got room for this left arm to extend here, and room for this right arm to extend here. So that's kind of why I put it in that corner, to give it plenty of space. Then we've got some celery along here, a little six pack, just spread out, nice and easy. And then we've got our cauliflower, just one of those guys. Excited for that. Black Beauty Eggplant, looking really happy to be in the ground. And then we've got a nice row of cabbage. All that's left to plant now is just this big blueberry bush. Two different types of squash. Crook neck yellow and straight neck yellow. Our beets. And yeah, we'll probably put those blueberries in this big red pot, I'm thinking, so we can get them some acid soil so they grow nice and healthy. All right. I sense that last video, I employed Elizabeth and Teddy, and we got that big succulent over there ripped out that was kind of hanging onto the patio to clear up a nice little bed for these beets. So, those were some of our last starters, those are looking good, really relieved to have those in the ground. And I've been finding there's a lot of these kind of stone pathways underneath the sand that we've been kind of uncovering, so I've been planting around those a little bit as I go here. And then we've got this big nice clear area remaining here for some seeds, I'll probably do some Swiss chard in that little plot, we'll see. And then for, as far as the rest of our starters for this video, I got these squash, the rest of our squash over here planted. We've got the crook neck yellow, the other crook neck yellow, and we've got a straight neck yellow, and a 
a straight neck yellow. These would probably like a little more sun than they'll have with this lemon tree up, up above, but I think they'll do okay. It's been pretty sunny, pretty nice plant conditions. We'll see you in the next video and we'll get some seeds planted, hopefully some Swiss chard, some sunflowers, maybe cucumbers, peas, carrots. It'll be dope. See you then. Thank you.